back to my channel it is china bell and today i'm going to be reviewing this palette i got sent by Minted cosmetics and this is what it looks like before we get into this review slash tutorial if you're new to my channel make sure you subscribe so that you can see more of me and if you're already a subscriber then welcome back to my channel all right let's get into this review so once you open, once you pull out the box it comes with a little sheet that tells you the names of each color and this feels kind of like a nice smooth material not like it's not like furry but like i don't know how to explain this it's just really like smooth not like a regular plastic container it's like just soft like it has a nice layer of like felt over it but it's not felt i don't know how to explain it other than that but so ooh, these are huge this is so pretty so we got a nice amount of matte shades in here and some shimmer so I'm just gonna go down the line and swatch each one so we can see how they swatch and how creamy they are and um, my first impressions this mirror is huge like look how big this mirror is it's as big as my face <laughs> I like that this gives you a nice yeah this is a lot of mirror I like this the mirror does seem like a little like wonky um like I'm a, like in, in a fun house a little bit but I think I can manage <laughs> All right, so they give you the card because they don't have the names of each color in here. So you'll have the card. You have to keep the card so you know which color you're using. Um, unless you really don't care, then you can toss that. But I probably keep mine so I know which colors, what the names are. As for the packaging, it's not really that sturdy, but then again, this is their first palette, so I'm excited to see what their future palettes are going to look like, and if it's going to be like solid plastic instead of um, like the thin plastic. Alright, so the first shade right here, I'm just going to put this right here so we don't get the reflection of the mirror and the light. Beige. Yeah. So I'm just going to swatch beige. Ooh, that is nice and buttery. Let me see. Ooh, that's nice. Look how pretty that is. Alright, so for the let me get some makeup wipes because this is gonna go messy. Okay, so now I'm gonna swatch light bright, which is this shade right here. It's kind of brown and orangey. nice and smooth and they just like glide on I love that all right so for the next one it's the first shimmer that we come across and it's called first date oh this feels like velvet look how pretty yes for the shimmers I'm excited about these this is just so cute all right let me just zoom in. Let's just let me just give you guys a closer look. Like I got a cut on my wrist from like my cat, but don't mind that. But look how pretty that is. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just gonna take this off my hand and I'm gonna move on to the next row. Okay, so moving on to the next row, we have we have tandemonium upside brown and second date Ooh, first date second date there's no third date but yeah that's really cute okay so tandemonium i'm gonna swatch wow that is like this is probably gonna be the shade that i use on my eyes when i just want a muted look and not 
like what color yeah because it's very close to my skin tone color super pretty this yeah like this is my nude right here we need a lip shade in this color right here <laughs> upside brown that's a cute play on words let's swatch that one so pretty I love that all right so moving to second date which I'm really excited about you guys know I love glitter and shimmers so I'm really excited to swatch this one so smooth so buttery smooth wow wow look how pretty that is look at that That is so gorgeous. Look at it on my finger though. Like, look at that. Yes. Yes. Imagine that as a highlight too. Like, I'm getting out of hand. Maybe not a highlight because it's kind of dark. Oh my god. I'm excited about this whole palette. Okay, now moving on to the bottom row, we have Red Bone Queen Sugar in Brown Out. Like black out, look brown out. Get it, get it. So let's swatch Red Bone. Who's a childish Gambino fan? I am. These are just so freaking buttery, bro. Okay, I'm swatching all three, and then I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna swipe all three of them on my hand. Okay, so the last, there's no shimmer for this last row. So you get two shimmers in the palette, and that's going to be first date and second date. And those are the only two shimmers, and the rest are going to be mattes. Alright, y'all ready? Y'all ready? Wow. Wow. These are so pigmented, it's crazy. Like, and I wasn't really expecting um, Redbone to show much up on me, but yes, that would be a super cute uh, transition color. So I don't even know what color I want to use to do my look today, but let's see. I'm going to do something super simple because I'm just going out um, to my aunt's birthday party. Um, so I'm going to do a simple eye. I'm going to start in my crease with my transition color and I'm using my BH Cosmetics number 7 blending brush. And I'm going to be using, hmm, I'm going to use Red Bone as my transition color right here. This is so pretty and it blends like a dream. Look how pretty that is. Again, this is Red Balm and I love it. This color right here. I, I'm in love and I've only used one color like on my face. I'm obsessed. This is definitely going to be my go-to palette for my everyday looks. And I think even when I do my crazy looks, I might be still using Red Bone right here as my transition color because this is so pretty. Look how I'm minted. Yeah, I did your thing with this palette. And I only use one shade so far, but I'm in love. Like, I'm in love. Okay, so I'm going to use the same exact brush and then I'm going to go into Upside Brown right here. Um, and I'm going to keep that color right in my crease, probably not go up with it because I don't want to cover red bone. I want to keep that right in my crease. So to deepen that even more, I'm going to go in with a brown out right here using the same brush. Like when I do my eyes, I probably only use two, maybe occasionally three brushes. I don't like cleaning brushes at all <laughs> but I do every week I clean my brushes once a week um, and then my clients right after I use them on the client on each client 
but it's not fun to clean your brushes whoever like have you ever heard anyone say they love cleaning their brushes or they love doing laundry i feel like the same amount of ugh, you know how you just hate doing your laundry like that's how i feel about my cleaning my brushes <laughs> so i use as little brushes as i can because i hate when my brushes pile up like my personal brushes pile up like laundry and then i have none and i have to clean ugh. No, so I only <laughs> use like two brushes on like my eyes, maybe three, maybe, and that's if I'm doing some like crazy look. So I'm going in with brown out right here, and I'm going to use that in this area right here, and I'm probably just going to pat it and kind of blend it in like a little circle. And you can blend down this way but I don't want it to come up here so I'm just gonna keep it in this area right here and if I wanted to intensify the brown I can just add more and pat in that area and keep doing the same thing but I think this is pretty good I don't want to go too dark But I think this right here is perfect. I'm gonna blend that out a little bit. Okay, so now on my eyelid, I'm gonna use my finger and I think I'm gonna use both. So I'm gonna use second date first and then first date. So this one's second date. This one's first date. These are the two shimmers that you do get in the palette. These are the only two. The rest of them are matte. So first day I'm going to use on my inner corner. Um, second day I'm going to use um, on my middle, in the middle, the middle of my lid. So I'm going to use my finger because shimmers are best applied with your finger. Wow, wow, <laughs> wow. These are super duper pigmented. And if your pointer finger is too like too big for your like if you have little eyes like me and your pointer finger is too big, just use your pinky. That works too. Look how pretty that is. Like it just brightens up my whole eye. Like and I didn't have to do much. Alright, so now I'm gonna go in with second date right here. And I'm gonna tap that in the middle between the two colors. I'm going to just go over where the shimmer ends as well just to blend that out so it doesn't look harsh I want to test something out like I want to see if I can use first date as a highlight like y'all know me I'm all about my highlight but I want to see like how it looks now let's see how this works as a highlight I'm excited Okay, okay, Minton. Wow. Wow, that is super pretty. Wow, I'm impressed. I'm going to do my lashes, my, you know, everything else, my lips and my lashes. Um, and I'll come back and show you guys what that looks like before.